Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am Lieutenant Colonel Joel Bias, Associate Dean of Education for the Air Command and Staff College and your Master of Ceremonies today. On behalf of our Commandant, Brigadier General Evan Pettis, welcome to the graduation ceremony for the Air Command and Staff College Class of 2020. This ceremony makes the, marks the culmination of a challenging year of study, which has prepared our students as critical thinking, air-minded joint leaders capable of leading in the profession of arms. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the entrance of the official party and remain standing for the playing of the national anthem and the invocation. Let us pause for a moment of prayer. Most gracious and holy God, as ACSC Class 2020 reflects on the stacks of books devoured, myriads of assignments penned and lectures delivered, we humbly recognize that we are standing on the shoulders of giants, forerunners like Arnold, Dowding, and Doolittle. May their experiences and stories continue to inform and inspire us to lead with moral courage in the ever-changing domains of air, land, sea, cyber, and space. Nevertheless, Lord, even as we celebrate this graduation milestone, we are mindful that all of creation is groaning amid a worldwide pandemic. So we look to you as the one who gives hope and help in the day of trouble. May you continue to strengthen the weary and encourage the brokenhearted to include all the modern day giants like the first responders, medical professionals, and essential personnel laboring during these uncertain times. And even though we're socially distancing, we recognize that this journey was not taken alone. We are indebted to those who have invested in us, encouraged us, and sacrificed on our behalf such as the incredible faculty and staff of ACSC, our spouses, children, friends, and loved ones. Finally, Lord, we recall the words of the great Beatles song out of the Book of Solomon that reminds us that there is a time for everything, a time to be born, a time to die, a time to kill, and a time to heal, a time to break down, and a time to build up, a time to weep, and a time to laugh, a time to mourn, and a time to dance, a time of war, and a time of peace. Lord, today is a time for ACSC academic year 2020 to graduate. What an amazing year it's been, so we say amen. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Thank you, Chaplain Merrifield, for that outstanding invocation. Chaplain Merrifield is a member of the Air Command and Staff College class, and he is graduating today. I would like to begin the introductions with our distinguished officials. Our guest speaker today and speaking to the class from a pre-recorded personal message is the mayor of Montgomery, the Honorable Stephen Reed. On the stage we have with us, Commander LeMay Center for Doctrine Development and Education and Vice Commander Air University, Major General Brad Sullivan. The Commandant of Air Command and Staff College, Brigadier General Evan Pettis. 
the Dean of Education, Air Command and Staff College, Dr. James Forsyth. We would also like to extend a warm welcome to all our distinguished guests who took time to watch this special event on the web. General officers, community leaders from the River Region, representatives from several countries around the world, our Air Command and Staff College community outreach partners, Maxwell Air Force Base commanders, commandants, and chiefs. And last but certainly not least, a special welcome to all the family members and friends of our graduates watching who have supported them from near and far during this entire year. To begin this morning's ceremony, we are honored to have a special message from the commander and president of Air University, Lieutenant General James Hecker. Air Command and Staff College, Class 2020. Well, congratulations. The day has finally come. It was no small feat. What a year it's been. You know, the first eight months were kind of normal around here. The last two months were anything but normal. When COVID-19 hit, it changed all of our lives, especially our family members. You know, they had to deal with you being at home all day. If you have kids, they had to deal with them not being at school and they're at home all day as well. Simple feats of going out to the grocery store required you to mask up, scrub down, you'd go out, you'd get your food, you'd come back, and you'd have to repeat all that and scrub down again. This was no easy feat for our family members, so thank you very much. I hope that this year at Air Command and Staff College, uh, you, it's given you some time to reflect, some time to reconnect with your Air Force peers and peers across the joint coalition and inter interagency. Chances are you came from a job where you operated at the tactical level. Here at Air Command and Staff College, uh, we were able to ra raise your game and have you operate at the operational and the strategic level. And this is very important because at your next assignment, we need your leadership Im implementing the national defense strategy. You know, we took a hit in readiness across our forces. Your leadership needs to help restore that readiness. The good news is the education and experience that you received here at Air Command and Staff College has prepared you for these challenges, and I know that you're going to meet them head on. Thank you for your leadership. Thank you for the sacrifices of the family. Congratulations, Air Command and Staff College Class 2020, and safe travels home. Ladies and gentlemen, the Commandant of Air Command and Staff College, Brigadier General Evan Pettis. Ladies and gentlemen, Class of 2020, it is my distinct honor and privilege to introduce today's guest speaker, the Honorable Stephen Reed. Mayor Reed had planned to address your class in person today, but unfortunately, due to COVID-19 restrictions, he is unable. However, he did take the time to record a message to our graduating ACSC students. Stephen L. Reed became the 57th mayor of the city of Montgomery on November 12, 2019. Mayor Reed is an accomplished public servant and leader. As Montgomery County, Alabama's first African-American and youngest elected probate judge, he expanded access to representation, improved facilities, and modernized the office to better serve the community. Mayor Reed was born and raised in Montgomery, Alabama, where he advanced through Montgomery Public Schools. He earned his Bachelor of Arts degree, cum laude, from Morehouse College, where he also lettered in football. He holds a Master's of Business Administration from Vanderbilt University's own Graduate School of Man Management. Class 2020, and distinguished guests, please join me in viewing a message from Mayor Reed. Congratulations to the Air Command and Staff College Class of 2020. Uh, you've been doing great over this last year. and We're uh, extremely proud of everything that you've done. But more importantly, we're proud that you've been a part of our community right here in Montgomery, Alabama. Thank you so much for all that you've done to really help us uh, throughout your time here. Uh, we've been experiencing some unpredictable times, and you all have stepped up to the challenge. You stepped up in a way that none of us could have imagined just a few short months ago. 
It's been one of those things that you all are prepared and trained for. That's why you've been here, because you're leaders, you're change agents, you're people that think very quickly on your feet, and you make decisions in split seconds that impact uh, multiple, multiple rings of people who are depending on you and your judgment. We're so grateful that you've been a part of this community for everything that you've done from our nonprofits to our schools, and just kind of being here and being a presence, telling us about where you're from, uh, showing us a different way to eat some food, and talking about who your favorite sports team may be. Uh, we've just been fantastic um, to have you here with us, and we're so delighted to be partners with you. But we know that today is a very special day for you. It's a special day because this is a commencement. Uh, this is a graduation. This is a new beginning of a new chapter in uncertain times. And commencement means to begin, to start. And my question to you is, what are you starting? What are you commencing to do going forward in this unpredictable time that we're in right now? Regardless of your part of the world that you're from or the part of the world that you're going to, how will you lead during these changing times? Whatever you do, I challenge you to lead without fear and to lead with faith. I challenge you to fail. I challenge you to fail up. To fail up because you are trying something different, something rare, and that you are never in the box, so you don't have to think outside of it, but that you are thinking about and you are leading in such a way that challenges all of us to be the best that we can be, that maximizes all of our potential. I believe that's what today's time calls for, because we don't know what tomorrow may bring. One day it's a pandemic, tomorrow may be something else. But what we do know is that strong leadership is always needed. Courageous leadership is always needed, whether that's in the government sector, in the military, in the civic sector, or in our business community, or just in our overall everyday life. We know that sound judgment, those who have a moral compass, and those who believe in what they're doing is something that is needed regardless of your rank, regardless of where you're going, and regardless of what you plan to do. But I want to make sure that you understand that doesn't come without sacrifice. That doesn't come without doubt. That doesn't come without any question of whether or not you're doing the right thing. But if it comes easy, if it comes without a doubt, if it comes without question, then maybe you aren't thinking hard enough. Maybe you aren't leading courageously enough, and maybe you aren't willing to fail up. Because I believe we all have to fail some way, somewhere, somehow, in order to advance. Because if we aren't doing it, then our bar is too low. Because we all have giants that we have to face, and we all have giants that we have to stand down. So to the class of 2020, I want to say to you, congratulations. We're proud of you. I'm glad that you've called Montgomery home. We want you to come back and visit. We want you to come back and live at some point because we're building a great community here, one full of opportunity, one that you have helped plant the seeds and foundation for. Thank you for all of your contributions and remember to lead and don't be afraid to fail up. Mayor Reed, on behalf of the Air Command Staff College Class of 2020, thank you. We really appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedule to come and share uh, time with us as well as your perspective on leadership on the occasion of our commencement. I know that your message resonated with me, uh, talking about failing up and leading courageously, and I know it'll resonate with the rest of the class as well. I know you mentioned as well the partnership that our class and Air University as a greater institution has with the city of Montgomery and how grateful you are for us. Well, sir, the feeling is definitely mutual, and we are very grateful that you have welcomed us into your city. Our students literally come from all over the world, military uh, bases all over the world, and uh, just in a couple uh, weeks, or even just even as soon as tomorrow, people will start departing back out to wow. the rest of the world. And as we go out, I know that we'll take the, the leadership lessons that we've learned here and the perspectives from folks like yourself with us out uh, into the world. So uh, again, thank you very much for sharing this time with us. And on, on behalf of the class, we'd like to present you with this lithograph uh, just with our appreciation. Fantastic, thank you so much. Yes, sir. I'm grateful and uh, humbled by, by this gift and this gesture and uh, just really impressed by everything that you all have done 
uh, throughout your careers, and certainly we've been glad to have so many people from around the world here in Montgomery um, over the last year, and we wish you the best. Uh, and we know that you're going to do great things, not only to keep us safe in this country, but to protect uh, the entire world uh, from the evil that exists, but also to lead in a way that is impactful far beyond um, all of our current roles. So I thank you so much, and I'm grateful for this opportunity. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you, Mayor Reed. At this time, Major Lawrence Melnikoff, the president of Gathering of Eagles, would like to make a presentation. General Pettis, sir, will you please join me at the center stage? General Pettis, on behalf of the class of 2020 Eagle inductees, as well as the GOE student team and faculty advisors, we present the 2020 Gathering of Eagles lithograph to Air Command and Staff College. Thank you for the incredible opportunity to honor the legacy of air and space power leaders while inspiring future generations of Eagles. Major General Sullivan, Vice Commander of Air University, will now confer the degrees and graduate status to the class of 2020. Will the graduates please stand? General Pettis, have the faculty of Air Command and Staff College tested these degree candidates and found that they have met all requirements for the master's degree of military operational art and science and completion of the prescribed program of study? Sir, they have. Then by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Congress of the United States, I hereby confer upon the members of the Air Command and Staff College class of 2020 the degree of Master of Military Operational Art and Science with all the rights, honors, privileges, and responsibilities here and everywhere pertaining to this degree. The Commandant will now award the diplomas. Due to COVID restrictions, we are unable to have all 490 students with us in the auditorium today. Accepting the diploma on behalf of the class of 2020's 309 active duty and Air Force officers, four Air National Guardsmen, eight Air Force Reservists, 45 soldiers, 12 Marines, 14 sailors, one United States Coast Guardsman, 21 United States government civilians is the AY-20 class vice president, Major Brandon Ash Felker. Accepting the diploma on behalf of all 75 international officers representing 67 countries is the AY-20 International Officer Class President, Wing Commander David Borg of the Royal Australian Air Force. And sir, on behalf of the 75 international officers, it's been my great pleasure to serve as their president. 67 countries, 75 names, it's a small gift from us to your school. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Congratulations, ACSC class of 2020. At this time, ACSC is honored to present individual awards to the highest performing students from this academic year. The first award is the Secretary of the Air Force Leadership Award. This year's recipient is Major Tabitha Zellhart of Seminar 10. The Secretary of the Air Force Leadership Award is given annually to recognize a student from each Air University professional military educational school 
who demonstrated exceptional performance and the greatest leadership during the academic year. The second award is the Wright Brothers Award for Officership. The recipient is Major Brandon Felker of Seminar 29. This award recognizes a student for outstanding contributions to the success of the class. The award is based on demonstrated professional leadership, officership, and educational achievement. Next is the Brigadier General Robbie Reisner International Officer Leadership Award. The recipient is Wing Commander David Borg from the Royal Australian Air Force and Seminar 21. This award recognizes the International Officer student who made exceptional contributions to the overall education objectives of the school. It is awarded for demonstrated professional leadership, officership, and educational achievement. The next award is the Commandant's International Officer Academic Award. This year's recipient is Lieutenant Colonel David Bay from the Republic of Singapore Air Force and Seminar 19. This award recognizes the international officer with the highest overall academic and research achievement during the academic year. Next is the Commandant's Award for Research Excellence. Selected by Brigadier General Pettis along with his senior staff, this award recognizes ACSC's best overall research paper. This year's award goes to Majors Berge, Natalini, Sangari, and Samda. The winning Commandant's Award paper significantly contributes to developing, employing, commanding, and supporting air and space power across the spectrum of service, joint, and combined operations. This award is sponsored by the Air University Foundation, which exists to promote and enhance the intellectual experience of all Air University class members and faculty. This year's winning paper is titled, Human Security and Great Power Competition in Africa, Balancing the Future Needs of U.S. AFRICOM. Their research advisor was Dr. Edmondson of the Air Force Culture and Language Center. The next award is the Commandant's Award for Academic Achievement. This year's recipient is Major Nicholas Mercurio of Seminar 12. This award is presented to the student in the class with the highest overall academic and research achievement. Our final award is the Commandant's Award for Excellence. This year, the award goes to Sean Hackett of Seminar 9. This award recognizes Air Command and Staff College's top graduates based upon leadership, professionalism, and academics. Ladies and gentlemen, we have one final group to recognize this morning, the distinguished graduates from the class of 2020. This class produced 50 DGs. To earn distinguished graduate, these members finished in the top 10% of students as determined by grade point average and peer selected outstanding team members. From the 21st student squadron, From the 38th Student Squadron, congratulations to all those who earned honors and to all the graduates of AY20. The Commandant will now address the class for the last time. Class of 2020, it's been an absolute honor to spend the last 10 months with you. As a class, you've been engaged, enthusiastic, and dedicated to getting the most out of your studies here at the Air Command of Staff College. You came together here from nations and services around the world, and you will scatter from here to follow dramatically different paths. But I have no doubt each of you will leave better in many ways than you arrived. You're better critical thinkers, better communicators, and better joint officers. You are more skilled in the use of the written word, 
and more adept at navigating the, more, the joint planning process. You spent a lot of time thinking about the profession of arms, about your own strengths and shortcomings, and about the ethics of our business. You've pondered why we fight and how we fight as joint and coalition teams, and you've worked hard on developing the habits and patterns of thought to frame and solve complex and dynamic and ill-defined problems. When you return to the field, you'll be a better officer and a better leader thanks to the time and effort you gave this last 10 months. As your commandant, I congratulate you. As a, as a citizen of this great nation, I thank you and I leave you with one final challenge. Your time spent reading, writing, and reflecting and growing over this past year should not be an end, but a beginning. Learning is a lifelong journey, and for you, whose profession is the defense of your nation and its way of life, a serious one. Don't let it in here. Our future may, scratch that does, depend on it. Thank you again for what you've done and for what you will do, and again, congratulations. Without further ado, class of 2020, you're dismissed. <laughs>